What's up, it's Cairo. Welcome back to the channel. It is day, what is it, day four or five after the release of Dominaria United. We're playing standard best of one, and in the quest to find one of the new aggro decks in the format, I am playing a mixture of humans and soldiers today. So you'll see some familiar faces in here, um, and you'll see some new cards. So at the bottom, here's the deck breakdown. If you don't want to see this and go straight to the gameplay, hit the description. Just click the little timestamp and you'll go right into it. So at the bottom we have Hopeful Initiate, has one of, been one of the all-stars of Mono, White, and Boros Aggro over the past few months. We have Tamiyo Safekeeping to give our things Hexproof and Indestructible at instant speed and gain a little bit of life. We have the new card, Guardian of New Banalia. It's a 2-drop, two 2-2 two, two with Enlist, meaning you can tap another untapped, non-summoning sickness creature that you have and add its power to this when it attacks. And it's actually kind of cool because it can attack well into the later game where a lot of early creatures can't. Um, it also scries two when you enlist, and you can discard a card and give it indestructible until end of turn. And you have to tap it, but if it's already attacking, that's fine. Sun Gold Sentinel, nice aggressive uh, two drop. This is a soldier also. It's a three two. It has a coven ability where it gets hexproof and can't be blocked by creatures of a chosen color. We have Thalia Guardian of Thraben to tax our opponent's big removal spells and uh, non creature spells of any kind. We have four Valiant Veterans. You'll see all these things are soldiers down at the bottom. And Valiant Veteran is a two drop, two two, and other soldiers you control get plus one, plus one. You can also, when it dies, exile it for five mana from your graveyard and put a plus one, plus one counter on each soldier you control. Now, also the common theme among all of these, these are all humans, except for Valiant Veteran, who's a core. We also have Anointed Peacekeeper, who's a human cleric. The 3 drop 3-3 three, three Vigilance, when it enters the battlefield, look at the opponent's hand and choose any card name. And spells your opponent's cast with a chosen name cost 2 colorless more to cast, and activated abilities cost 2 colorless more. So you can tax uh, creatures, you can tax whatever, um, besides lands. But the main thing for this guy, there are a lot of Planeswalkers in the format, and whenever you target a Planeswalker in their hand, it costs them 2 more to cast, and then anytime they activate one of the abilities, the loyalty abilities on a Planeswalker... It now costs him two mana. This guy is very good. I think he's going to be a pretty big player in white-based aggro and mid-range in the format. We have four Brutal Cathar for creature removal on the opposite side. Also a 3-3 first striker if you can switch it to Knight. Note that he is a human and a soldier, so he gets benefits of both of those. We have King Darien the 48th. One green, one white, one generic. He's a 2-3. Other creatures you control get plus one, plus one. And you can tap 5 mana in the form of 1 green, 1 white, 3 generic, and put a counter on him and create a 1-1 one, one white soldier, which will also benefit from your buffs here. Uh, it is not a human token, so keep that in mind. You can also sacrifice him in creature tokens you control, gain hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. We don't have a lot of tokens. In fact, I think the only way we make tokens is with King Darien himself, but it could come up. But he's also just a 3 mana lord that gives all your other creatures plus 1, plus 1. We have Halana and Alina Partners, a human, a green, red, two generic, first strike reach, beginning of combat, put plus one, plus one counters on another target creature, and that gains haste, where X is their power. Sometimes there are three, four, if you have Darien out, and yeah, this card's great. It also has reach and first strike, so it's good at blocking the little flyers. And at the top, Sigarda, Champion of Light, two white, one green, one generic, for four, four, flying trample. Humans you control get plus one, plus one. And like I said, these are all humans, with the exception of Valiant Veteran. And Coven, if you control three or more powers when Sigarda attacks, you can look at the top five cards of your library, reveal a human, and put it into your hand and put the rest on the bottom. We do have Viganyo Seed of the Empire here for a little bit of removal. Besiege you who endures, getting rid of problematic enchantments and artifacts and things like that. Forest, New Pain Land, Carplusen Forest. Sundown Pass, because we do not have a Boros Pain Land. And we have Thran Portal. This is a rare gate that comes in tapped unless you control two or fewer other lands. And you can choose which basic land type you want it to be, but you'll pay one life for each time that you use this, which doesn't hurt us too much. We also have safekeeping in here. I think we're like something like 5-1 and one or 6-1 and one or something like that with this deck so far. I like it. I've just made it, as you can tell. I haven't even titled it. It says new deck here. Uh, if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up, consider sharing, and consider subscribing for more new videos. It helps the channel, and it helps me to keep bringing content. So until next time, 
have a great time in arena and i hope you enjoy the video all right opponents going first we got some white mana we got some red mana we need a green by turn four probably but this looks okay anointed peacekeeper one of the new cards that can tax our opponent pretty good i think we'll keep this hand All right, white mana from them. Blue mana from them, okay. Uh, yeah. Let's attack. This is the quest to find one of the new better aggro decks. I know mono black aggro has been pretty good, but I am convinced that there's something here in a white based soldier deck. So let's attack first. See if they make a move on our initiate. Let's try to get in Peacekeeper. See if they have a counter spell for that. They don't. All right. So their hand is a Johnny Falco Spara. The 3-3 three, three Flying Trample puts a shield shield counter on it. Move the top card of your library any time. You may cast spells from the top of your library. Okay. Matilda, Sanctuary Warden, Ajani. They have two Ajani's. Looks like they're missing green. So let's make Ajani text. An Anointed Peacekeeper will also attack, so if they play a Johnny for, say, 5 to 6 mana, depending on whether they play the Phyrexian mana or not, they still have to use... Um, oh, they're exiling things. Okay. Well, we got some cards away from him. They still have to use mana to plus up the Planeswalkers, which is actually really cool. So no counter spells in hand? Any removal of any kind? No. Okay. All right, got there. Good game one. See if we can continue this trend. All right, we're going first this time. I like that. So we have white, we have red, we have green. We have King Darien, Sun Gold Sentinel. I think we're looking pretty good. Wish we had a one drop instead of one of these, but hey, you know what? We have mana, we have spells, we're good. Let's do it. Soldier power. Had a good hand too. Okay. Um opponent goes first. Pretty good curve out here. Like it. We just need to draw some lands basically. Alright, let's get initiate down. Okay, let's attack first. See if they want to interact with the initiate. Guardian of New Benalia. That's a sweet shield you have there, Guardian. Pretty cool. We're going to need to land, though. Like, pretty much now. Okay. Well, if it wasn't going to be a land, then I guess it's... Fine to have another two drop. They march that. Okay. They did not make a vampire. Interesting. They get morbid opportunists. Okay. Grand portal. Let's put this down on white. 
Go King Darien. Let's kill Soren. Let's scry. We really we have brutal Cathars. We don't need another one. We don't need a Sun Gold Sentinel. We really need land for Sigarda. Non-creature, non-land. Whiff. <clears throat> we just have all creatures. If we can get Sigarda out, we can smash. Anointed Peacekeeper would probably be a really good play here, too. See what they have. Like, if they have a meat hook or something. Some sort of sweeper. Packs that. That's the conservative play. And being mono black, I'm sure that they have something like that. Safekeeping. Okay. We'll attack first, that way we can safe keeping something if they try to remove it. Thank you. All right, see if we can dig up a land. We can. Didn't get to play our anointed peacekeeper that time, though. Because we chose to save uh, King Darien. Ooh. Don't mind that at all. We only have three mana to work with here. They play that Morbid Opportunist. We take that with the Brutal Cathar. And then... We swing away. Trespasser. We'll take that. Or we just go Sigarda. Yeah, that will work. Keep saying nice. Wonder if that's meant as a compliment or as sarcastic nice. Either way, I'll take it. I guess they're going to rope us because they're very upset that we won. So I'll just edit this through the video. That's okay. I'll wait. I have time. All right. Let's move on. All right. We're going first. Two, three end portals. That could hurt us a little bit, but I think it's okay. We have a decent little setup here. We're not playing anything right now. Let's get this down on green. See if we need to play that immediately on white. We want to save one probably for red too. Okay, initiate. So now we'll play this on white. Put the guardian in. So that's going to train. Do we want to discard a card here? Get rid of their adversary? I think so. Let's get rid of the Peacekeeper. Put them behind a little bit.
I'm okay with playing defensively. Especially because we're going to be losing life from our lands. So they're playing Boros. Um, so they will only have removal based basically in the form of Brutal Cathar or Lightning Strike. Damage based removal. So if we can get Helana and Alina out, make one of our things big. Uh, nothing we can do about that. That's fine. That allows them to attack. Thank you for the subscribe. Didn't realize I had that on when I was recording, but yeah, that's cool. Mono. Alright. Let's get Helana and Elena out. Let's pump up this Guardian, make it basically indestructible. Oh, it comes in tapped. Alright, not a problem. Get rid of adversary, I guess. And then we'll hold up Tamio's safekeeping. We'll block, gain two life, hopefully kill one of their things. They get indestructible. We get indestructible. Let's bounce. And Knight of Dawn's Light. 3-3 three, three first strike. You would gain life, gain that much, plus one. And then it's pumpable. Two mana gets it, plus one, plus one, till end of turn. Alright. Let's do this. Hold up the defensive wall here. All right. We just put up the wall. Sometimes, because I knew we were slower than Boros, so I'm like, as long as we can defend, we'll be good. Good game. Opponent goes first. We're going to need red mana by turn four. I think we can probably keep this, though. Pack leader. All right. Hmm. Let's get the sundown pass down tapped. So they're going to become, they're going to have bigger creatures than us. So how do we stop that from happening? Initiate. Let's get the veteran in there. We can block with it and then maybe exile it later to put counters on all of our stuff. Ooh, this is going to be nasty. We'll block here. <laughs> Peacekeeper down. What do they have? Silverback Elder. Another Beast Caller. So we can count on these things becoming 4-4 four, four, and a 3-3. Three, three. Cemetery Prowler and a Pack Leader. Let's tax the Query and Beast Caller because we can't overcome that if they keep casting that thing. We're gonna hope to draw, hope to draw a uh, brutal Cathar. Took our damn valiant veteran. We don't have a brutal Cathar right now, so we can't block here. Have them transfer a counter and take a thing away from them. Guess we're just gonna take it. Feels bad. We can attack because that has Vigilance. We're in Beast Caller. I wish that was a human. I would put that in this deck. I would so find a place for that. But it's not. It's a Dryad. Oh no. The Ape Shaman.
So they know that we need to block with both things. None of these things have trample, which is something, I guess. Yeah, their their stuff is just so their creatures are so massive that even with a seven seven vigilance, I just don't think we're gonna be able to do it. Let's block the six six, kill it. Let them transfer the counters around, and let's see if we can draw a brutal Cathar. They're gaining life off of this Silverback Elder, too. They're putting them there. That's all we've got. <laughs> Let's see if it works. They're going to play um, Pack Leader, and this is going to be a 10-10. Luckily, we can chump block, but I don't know. I don't know how this is going to shake out. They have two other cards in their hand that we don't know about. So, If we can get a Sigarda, we can draw Sigarda, have a Flyer, give it haste with Halana and Elena. And uh, swing in, we could win. Beast Caller. They chose to get a land. They did not gain life. Need a brutal Cathar. We need Sigarda. Uh, this is tense. They did gain the life that time. Okay. Let's block with a Valiant Veteran here. That way we can exile it from the graveyard. Give Halana and Elena a counter before the trigger. And then make the Peacekeeper even bigger. Because we have to get above their Beast Caller. So we need to get the value out of this in the graveyard. Basically. Ooh, Tail Swipe. That puts a ding in our plans. Soldier you control. Okay. It's rough. Oh, they come in with everything. 
Must have a trick up their sleeve or something. We can block here. We can block here. Oh, no, no, no. Because they have four damage on us. Good game. That was a fun game. It was great. There's nothing we can do, right? Because if we block here, here... Yeah, we're dead. All right. That was a tight game. That was awesome. Hats off to the opponent. That Beast Caller gets huge. So that's going to do it for the video for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please hit that thumbs up for me. Leave a comment if you have suggestions and consider subscribing for future videos. And until next time, have a great day.